Hi, I'm Jeff Johnson, and this is Takeaway. This is filmed February 21st, 2016, a force to be reckoned with. Hey, have you ever read scripture and thought, oh man, I wish that was true? Oh man, I wish that was true for me. Well, the fact of the matter is, it is true. You see, what God's word says about you is true, but oftentimes we live like it's not. And that's the power of God's word. People say all the time, well, I read God's word and it's kind of dull and everything else. Well, they're reading it with the wrong eyes. You see, you need to begin to read it with spiritual eyes, eyes that see that what God is saying about you is the potential that you have for your life. It's the potential for you to have in your life at work, for those people that are around you in your life that need uh, a godly influence. It's, it's, it's the opportunity to have favor for your children and, and even for your own marriage and, and relationships. Folks, what I'm getting at today is very simply this, is that uh, there is a force out there that needs to be reckoned with, and it's God force and when you allow his favor his love to direct your life something amazing happens you see we often come at uh, the things that happen in our life in three different ways we 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 say this we go well is that what is that what the world's saying about me or maybe we think oh that's what the devil's saying about me and you know that's all well and good to understand your context but i want you to remember this today what does god say about me so there's many scriptures that i, I love to quote no weapon formed against me shall stand that's true for you. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. That's true for you as it is for me. He, is, uh, he wants to prosper me, and give me hope and a future. He, he doesn't want me to fail. He wants me to be able to, to be that, which according to Jeremiah is to be a blessing to others, an influence. See, you were made to win. And as, and as crazy as that sound, or as that maybe sounds, oh, that happens for all the spiritual people. The truth of the matter is, it will happen for you when you begin to believe it. So oftentimes we live our lives with this idea of negativity that we'll never get to there, or we can never have that, or everything else. I'm telling you that in, by, by God's word spoken over your life, and you beginning to speak it in your own life, that which he says about you will be true. Now, I'm not talking about that you're going to be you know, wealthy beyond means and everything else. That's a whole other thing another day, but I'm telling you, that which you are purposed for, you will have. God will always provide for you that which you need to do his work at that given moment. I believe that with all my heart. I believe that in my own life. I've seen it in my 30 plus years of ministry. So folks, there is a force to be reckoned with. And when we get out of the way and we stop pushing it away and allow it to come to us, allow it to be that which God wants to be, amazing things happen. Miracles happen. Situations change. Uh, people that we're praying for come to know the Lord. Those that need healing are healed. All these things begin to come together because we just begin to believe that which God says about us for our lives and for those that we love and those that we are serving. So if you can grab onto this process to begin to verbalize, because you see, your, your first steps with Christ started with a confession or with asking for his favor. You, you said, come into my life. I believe that you died and, and you rose again for me to be my savior. You see, you are making a confession, a confession of faith. You are agreeing with what God says about you. He already knows you were a sinner. He even says in Romans that all of us sin fall short of the glory of God. And that is true. But when you say that back and then you say, but I need a savior. Jesus, you're that savior everything changes. And that which God says about you is true. So thanks for being a part of Takeaway today. God bless you. We'll see you next week.